I'm out here in the shipping department. I don't know if you can hear. Yeah, that, I don't know. Maybe it's not coming through in the microphone. There's a huge windstorm out here in Boulder. We call the we call the Chinook, which is kind of a, a warmish wind that comes down out of the Rockies. And man, it can be it can get 70 miles an hour out here. It gets pretty wild. So. Um, our question today comes from Antonio in Hong Kong, one of my favorite cities of all time, and dim sum, my favorite lunch meal. Oh, vegetarian dim sum in Hong Kong for lunch, exquisite, none better. Uh, Paul, I'm looking into buying a pair of speakers for my bedroom, <clears throat> and I've been browsing the web before going to audition them, and one of the videos I saw the speaker and the bass driver bounce around violently. Hmm. I thought, wow, the bass must be really good, heart pumping and immersive. However, I've also heard that mo the more you see the woofer bounce um, to the bass notes, the more harmonic distortion is present from the speaker. Is this true? And uh, a second question would be, is a 95 dB sensitive speaker less harmonic distortion prone than an 85 dB speaker at the same level? Well, first off, I, I think what you're seeing is, ooh, somebody stupidly left a cookie. No, I finished this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that cookie. That was from our, we buy, the, we buy the crew lunch on the last day of the month. So that's, I can, I can taste that's one of Jim's peanut butter chocolate cookies that he buys. Uh, anyway, sorry. I get distracted by food and cookies easily. So, <clears throat> um, where were we? Woofers, bouncing around. Yeah, I, that's a good thing. Uh, when you see low frequency like that, that means that woofer has not been rolled off too early and you're getting good bottom end, you know, some low frequency. You'll see it move around. Uh, some exceptions to that might be, wow, I don't know if you can hear that wind, but anyway, some exceptions to that might be, uh, I've seen, oh, turntables, if they have, uh, uh, the record has a warp in it, and the, the needle of boom, 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 you'll see it, but that's kind of, a, and the woofer will go like that, but that's kind of a um, rhythmic, uh, w with a good, steady period, and so you can see that happening, I don't think that's what you're seeing, so I, I think, First off, I would definitely go for a speaker that produced those low frequencies relative to one that doesn't, because I think bass is an important part of music. That said, your question revolves around harmonic distortion. So harmonic distortion occurs when something produces more higher harmonics than the fundamental. So let's imagine the woofer is producing a 500 hertz tone, a pure tone of 500 cycles in a sine wave. If we were to measure that and we found that there was 1% THD, total harmonic distortion, what that means is that if we strip away the 500 hertz fundamental, what's left over are harmonics, higher frequencies than the original one. So those frequencies, the first one would be a thousand, that'd be a second harmonic, the next one would be 1500, and that would be a third harmonic, and so forth. Odd and even harmonics, but they're all higher than the fundamental. And I don't think that a slow moving woofer like this is going to have, I can't think of any reason why it would produce harmonic distortion. Now it may produce intermodulation distortion, that's distortion where we have two tones at the same time, two different tones playing at the same time. They produce a third tone that's unwanted. And in fact, if it's going 500 hertz and this one's going in and out at, at trying to reproduce bass notes, that could cause intermodulation distortion, something we don't want. More likely, it would produce Doppler distortion. And, and that's really only going to bother you if the woofer itself is going high enough in frequency. So Doppler is, it's a good way to describe it, oh, I, if you've ever stood by a train that's going by real fast or an ambulance and you know the, the like with, with the, the siren as it goes away, 
as, as he goes away in the distance. That's called Doppler distortion, and that happens because you're adding the speed of the car or the train to the waveform, and as it goes away, it gets longer and thus lower in frequency. And that could be, I mean, you, you have this rapidly move, well, not rapid, but you have the slow moving woofer in and out like this, and on top of that, you have fast moving frequencies that are moving in and out, and that can cause a type of distortion called Doppler, but harmonic, no, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to be a worry for you. And as to the, you know, and I would buy the one that does the greater bass. That's probably a better speaker. The 85, 85 dB is very low in efficiency or sensitivity. What that means is if you put one watt in and you measure from one meter away, you'll get 85 dB of sound, which isn't a lot of sound. That's pretty quiet for a speaker. So in order, and then if you do it at with a different speaker, one watt, one meter, and you get 95 dB. That's 10 dB better sensitivity. So it takes considerably less power of the amplifier to create the sound coming out of the speaker. So it may be that you'll get greater harmonic distortion from the amplifier, but not from the speaker. I don't think the two are related. So a 95 dB speaker is easier to drive for the amp, and maybe that's where that's what you're thinking. Hope that answers your question. Thanks for asking.